Hi, I'm Sherry from Homeschooling on a Wing and a Prayer blog. This is part three of my Laura Ingalls Wilder Little House book series. It's just showcasing some of the books I've received through our local library. It's not all of them. I'm still waiting for some. But I want to go ahead and just show you what I was able to get. Now, mind you, I was being very selective. There were pages and pages and pages of books to choose from. So use your local library. Look for things such as activity books. If you're into music and the so you want to know more about the songs that were popular during her time or what was mentioned in the books, this is a good one. This is by uh, Herbert Hofferecht or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, My Little House Sewing Book by Margaret Irwin. And, of course, the Laura Ingalls Wilder Country Cookbook. That has a lot of the typical meals. and In fact, some of Laura's are in there. Recipes and stuff. This, if you're looking, if you have older kids and you want them to do a biography on Laura, this is a really good one. Of course, again, this is by Bill Anderson. He obviously knows her well, and this is a well-written one. Of course, the Childhood of Famous Americans, they do a great job on all kinds of people, and so I picked up that one to showcase as well. This was the book that I was talking about that I couldn't find in my collection, West from Home. Those were her letters, so I'm going to have to go ahead and just order one I guess because I don't know where it is anyway this is another good one to pick up this is by Bill Anderson too and it talks about the Iowa story because not much is said about that and that was you know an interesting time in their life not a happy one but interesting and then you can look for all different kinds of books that talk about Laura and her life and here were just some samples I picked up I have yet to read this one you know I have read so many books on her I should really keep a tallying list I may have read this before, don't recall, so we'll have to do that. I've read this one and this one. Who's this one by? Uh, can you see that? No. Oh, here we go. Okay, now this is one I have not read yet. I can't say if it's good or bad, but it kind of just redoes some of those things that are covered in those books, and it has great pictures. I'm actually in the middle of reading this one, and I really like it. Uh, Becoming Laura Ingalls Wilder by John E. Miller. See, some of these books weren't out when I was really into this. I kind of had to put it aside, you know, and get on with life. And so that was about 16 years ago. I was really into it. And I've taken a little vacation, and now I'm back getting into her life story again. I also picked up this one, which is quite interesting. And uh, this is by Christine Woodside. Um, kind of talks about how... Rose really was involved with her mother's writing and the links that she went to to keep that kind of secret. And I can understand her reasoning behind that, but it doesn't really bother me because I know when you're writing a book, you're always going to have editors and other people involved to help you pull together a book that's worthy. And so I don't have a problem with it. I think between the two of them, they came out with a great series and that ultimately Laura was the main driving force behind the majority of it and with Rose's help I mean they came out with some really good books so whatever it's not a big deal to me but some people apparently it bothers them anyways those are just some suggestions again check out your library see what you can find and go from there so there you have it if you haven't seen the first and second one click the links down below in the description box also if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment section and as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.